hello guys welcome back to my channel this is Josie here at your service and on today's video I would like to talk to you about the most common expectation of most foreigners who wants to live and come here in Germany I'm going to tackle to you those one by one so if you're interested stay tuned and keep watching if you're new to my channel thank you for tuning in please do subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell so you will be updated whenever I have uploaded new videos <laughs> now I don't want to keep you waiting let's proceed okay the most common expectation maybe not you yourself right away but around you people around you in your surroundings a lot of people once they find out that you will be um, living in Europe or in Germany or in America maybe then they would think that you are going to be a rich person you will be rich you are rich whatever you call it money 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 Unfortunately not. It is not going to happen guys that once you have reached Germany you will be rich or your life is going to be easy because it's gonna be tough and very difficult. You just have to prepare for it, okay? <laughs> and second thing is that maybe not everybody but a lot of especially the young people or people who are used into partying, outing, they would think, oh wow, I'm gonna go to Germany. It's going to be cool, there's gonna be a lot of party, everything's going to be accessible. Um, maybe later, but not right away. And aside from that, actually, most of the time you are going to be alone by yourself you have nobody to talk to and except for your husband maybe or I don't know if you do have some colleague within the household or within the apartment whom you could talk to or go partying around actually it's going to be very difficult guys but if you are going to join a German class your classmates is going to be your party buddy mm -hmm. yes so stick to your class stick, stick to your peer stick to your stick to your gang <laughs> okay so you'll have a lot of fun a lot of you may think that you can pursue your career um, way back from home and then right away pursue your career here in Germany I hope it was that easy guys actually no because first you are going to be very busy learning the language first regardless of the language barrier let's say for example if you're going to apply for a job here in Germany you need to evaluate all of your papers now those papers will be translated first now after translation if we talk about translation we're talking a lot of euros in here a single page might cost you like a hundred euros or more to have it translated depending on the area where you would like to have it translated and apart from that once it's done once the translation is done and over now you are going to have this paper evaluated you're going to send those papers to um, like a department minister department uh, depending on your degree there's a list of that in the website i'm going to put a link on that uh, in the description below and it might take forever before you'll get the result as to what is the equivalent of your degree way back from home here in Germany and finally finds out that actually it is just like the higher degree in high school 
It's very sad. <coughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Well, actually, I don't want to discourage you, but those are the things that you might anticipate once you have come here. So once your papers were evaluated, then that is the only time you might know if you could work in that specific job you are actually pursuing. Mm -hmm. But still, just give it a try because you don't know you might be lucky and get the job though so don't let those papers stop you okay now proceeding to the fourth common misinterpretation or common expectation a lot of people might think that they could work here professionally well actually it is like in connection to uh, the third um top three that i have mentioned just a while ago now the fourth one is you working professionally according to what you have learned or according to your bachelor degree or doctoral's degree depending on what you have actually taken maybe for some especially engineers there might be a possibility that you could uh, work in a certain company provided that you will be hired as an English speaker if you don't know how to speak a single German at all it is going to be very difficult um, most commonly I can tell you the most common thing that people are actually undergoing even though they are professionals they are professionals in the Philippines they end up working here as a factory worker, as a kitchen helper, just like what I did um, way back then, or what else? Like hotel, um, housekeeper, yeah, something like that, cleaning ladies. So those are the most common typical jobs you could actually do the first time you come here and you shouldn't be picky there's a lot of experience that you could learn from it I, I've done that and if you are open and free uh, for new things then give it a try maybe the salary is not that much but still you are earning and and this is the last thing common most expectation a lot of people think is everything is going to be very convenient actually no everything is just a hassle at first you are so excited to see a lot of things and as well as to experience new things but most of the things that you are kind of doing way back home may not be applicable right away here in Germany because of the fact that you don't have much money now um, in my experience way back home as I could recall I always had my nails done was a manicure and pedicure have a massage spa every second of the week do sub derma or facial and I can't, can't even do that here right now have my hair done now look at my hair <laughs> goodbye hair <laughs> no actually there's a lot of things that are very convenient here as well but most of the things is going to be very inconvenient for you at first you're you are in a new environment and you are adjusting to everything especially the filipinos they are so lazy to walk i myself um it's just because the the environment in the philippines is very humid you have at least 28 degrees celsius of course you don't want to walk all the way from this to there <laughs> you just grab a tuk-tuk or um 
they it is like a a tr tricycle with um, a bicycle with an additional I don't know what you call it hanger where people rode on it and then drive there for their convenience and if they are laid make jeepneys are everywhere taxis they could call it any any time 24 by 7 but here no guys it's not going to be the case okay so try to be realistic and i hope this video may have helped you have your first thought change into this thing okay that i have mentioned to you however there's a lot of things that may be convenient for you i don't have to wash my own clothing anymore you just have to throw it in the washing machine and you don't have to wash your um like dishes anymore provided provided that you have a dishwasher because i don't have it so i still have to wash my own dishes okay now be serious people anyway let's let's be serious okay anyway i am telling you this not to discourage you or so i am telling you this because i know that there's a lot of misconception and misinterpretation common misunderstanding um be, even before they came or they come here to germany and i think maybe maybe if you knew this then your mind setting will be different uh, you could accept things much faster and differently just try to be open at anything especially if you are new here try to mingle with a lot of people try to make a lot of friends because if you don't then you will be stuck in the middle of nowhere and you have nobody to talk to okay okay guys this video is not meant to discourage you instead i want you to be challenged to try new things to take things differently and at the same time try to open up your mind for eventually new things that you might encounter here and if possible try to say yes for uh, the opportunity that may come into your way don't say no the whole time because maybe you are letting go of the possible opportunity which might contribute to your success in the future again this video is to tell you what are the reality that you should expect here before coming here to europe and maybe by me me telling you this it might open your mind to give it a go and just go with the flow <laughs> okay just go with the flow keep on fighting uh, strive hard and reach your dreams until then guys if you do like this video give me a thumbs up if you have any questions leave your comment down below i will answer you as much as i could I think I have answered everybody who actually wrote me. I I appreciate all of your support. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Until then, bye bye. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, okay?